Welcome to Rock Speed Effects. My name is Chris Olin. We're here today to talk about a few products and an amazing opportunity that we uh, were able to be a part of. Back in August of 21, we got a phone call from Will Ewing from the Shock Shop. He was uh, going to raise funds for kids to go to camp through setting a world record uh, for a 24 hour period on a snowmobile for the most miles. That was the goal. One of the things he requested was our all season gauntlet. This was to kind of keep Will's hands dry and clean and warm because over the 24 hours period, he's gonna have to ride all night long uh, through the night to the next morning. So this is uh, able to work on motorcycles, ATVs and snowmobiles. Uh, the other thing that he requested was our anti-vibe risers. These come in a variety of options that you can go to our website and check out. This one is a 7 8 uh, version for 7 8 handlebars. It has uh, cushions in the riser to kind of cut down the, the bar buzz or the uh, resonance that comes off the motor in the track or tires from a motorcycle. And uh, this was something he specifically requested uh, for the attempt. The other thing that we have here on display is our, our Gen 3 Flexac hand guards. These are also available. This is something that we had sent him, but due to the fact that it was going to be a pretty cold night, uh, we you know, he kind of decided to run our, our all-season gauntlet. One of the things that we have sold in the past and we have here that works on the guys that run the I-500 is this soft gauntlet. You can roll that up when not in use, roll it out when you're in use. And uh, if you take a look over here also, we have our Vasca bar pad, the handlebar protector. This has a pocket inside there. You can keep your license or your keys or your insurance paperwork. But these are just a few of the things that we have here at Rock Speed Effects. But I think what we should do is probably cut over to Will at the shock shop and he can kind of go through the details, show you the sled, talk about the world record attempt and the outcome. So thanks for joining us here at Rock Speed Effects. Let's cut over to Will. Behind me is Thunder One. Uh, it's a 2022 Articat Thundercat that was used Guinness World Record attempt and we managed to put 2,125 miles on that sled in 24 hours. Well, I had two goals. The, the previous record by a single rider was uh, 1,907 miles in 24 hours. And there was a team event out there that was uh, 2,084 miles, so it was kind of my hidden goal and uh, we did reach both of those in the 24 hour period with one sled and one rider. We, we set up a 10, uh, it was 10.52 mile oval out on Lake of the Woods that was uh, professionally surveyed for um, Guinness purposes. The idea actually started over 20 years ago when my late cousin Darcy Ewing wanted to attempt this uh, world record and lost his life uh, prior to doing that. So I had the idea of always doing it um, and about one year ago we decided uh, that year was the year. So we started making phone calls uh, to potential sponsors and uh, that's when I reached out to uh, Chris at Rock Speed FX. Realized they make some hand guards that uh, were quite nice and comfortable and kept the wind off my knuckles and also makes uh, anti-vibration handlebar mounts which got rid of all the engine vibrations coming up through the handlebars. So I wanted something you could slip your hand in quick. So if you had to pull your hand out to change a setting on the snowmobile or do something, you could get it back on the handlebar quick because those products made a huge difference on making this uh, world record possible. I've had a few people that, uh, you know, basically said, oh yeah, we had a pretty good year. You know, we put 1,500 miles on and then they read the little plaque that's sitting by my sled and they're like, you did that in a day. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, we, we basically took this whole project on, did it as a fundraiser, and uh, every dollar donated or raised, I should say 100% of every donation raised, uh, went to sending kids to summer Bible camps that come from families that are less fortunate and can't afford to uh, send kids off to a week of camp. So 100% of every dollar went to that cause.